Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Rat Valley Community College. This is for CSIT 256, Computer Architecture and Assembly Language. Um, and in this demo, I want to focus on uh, random numbers. And um, what I'm going to do is um, following up from the three-part demo on uh, loading assigned array and displaying from uh, the assigned array, um, what I want to do is instead of getting the input from the user, I want to generate the uh, uh, the data. Um, now, one thing is just just to pull it out. Um, I'm going to take the code that was in the main procedure um, for um, sorry <laughs> this code here that was in the procedure um, for getting the input from the user. And let me comment this out. Um, and so let me just add a comment here uh, that this is the code to um, get array from user. Now, with that commented out, if I run it, compile and run it, what it should do is it should display the array um, twice because there's nothing going on now um, between the two. And what I want to do is I want to load with random numbers. Um, so one thing, if you're going to be asking the computer to generate random numbers, um, the safe thing is inside the top of the procedure, call randomize. And um, helps if you spell it right. And what this will do is this is sort of um, stirs the pot. So logically, it stirs the pot. What happens is if you don't do the randomize, every time you run the program, you're going to get the same random numbers, which is not going to seem like it's random. For testing purposes, it can be helpful that if we want to have a stream of random numbers, but we want the same one for testing, that can be helpful. Uh, but if we truly want random numbers, we got to make sure that we do um, uh, the randomize. So what I want to do is, uh, well, let me do a little bit of pillaging. Um, so this was the... Um, sorry, um, code, oh, not code top, code to get array from user. Let's um, pull out of here some things. And so that would be, if I pull this out, okay, so let's do this as um, load array with random numbers. Okay, uh, how about I said L3, let me do L4. And then since we are at some point going to be moving um, to the next element in the array, um, we'll get that for the next element of the array, and then um, go to L4. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to generate a random number. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to load it, um, random number, into array. Okay, so the first piece, the um, generating a random number, um, what you need to do is load EAX first with the range of values that you want it to generate. Um, and so what I'm going to do um, for, for giggles and grins, suppose I want 100 different numbers. I'm just doing roughly 100 different uh, numbers. Well, actually, you know what? Well, yeah, let me, let me just do, uh, let me do simply 1 to 100, 1 to 100, and then we'll, I'll go back and I'll, I'll expand on it. So if I want 1 to 100, um, this is, I'm going to say prepare EAX for uh, random range, and then I'm going to call random range, and what this will do, it will leave an EAX, a random number, um, 
in this case from 0 to 99. If I now ink EAX, um, EAX now has, oh, God, sorry, 1 to 100. Okay, now that I have the um, random number generated, I want to load it into the array. Well, let's just, let me cheat. And the cheat is going to be, let me just copy this line to here, um, store random number to memory. Now I'm yapping, and as I said before, it's always bad. Ah! Oh, L4. Yeah, I did that deliberately. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's the ticket. <laughs> um, so if I did this right, then at the top it shows the array before the generation of the random numbers, and then here it shows the array after the random numbers are generated. Um, and so for this, um, two things. One at the top of the procedure, I called randomize. This is to make sure that we get uh, random numbers. Um, and then when I wanted the random number, oh, this, this piece here, load EAX with um, the range of numbers we want. And if we want it from 1 to the range, then we uh, would add 1. And by the way, real quick, if I just run again, I've got a different set of numbers, 87, 11, 55. If I run it again, different set of numbers, uh, 98, 13, 81. Um, and just for any doubting Thomases, if I pull out the call randomize, okay, 95368, 95, three, sixty-eight. So by not having the randomize, we get the same random numbers. By calling randomize, we get different random numbers every time that it, it's run. Um, so that's the importance of having the randomize in there. Um, and you only want to have the randomize once. You don't want to have it inside of a loop because what can happen is um, it actually can end up re, um, generating the same number too many times uh, if, if you do that because it's based on the time. And um, so if the loop is so fast, if the time hasn't advanced, um, then uh, it's using the same seed uh, for generating the numbers. Okay. Um, that'll be it for this one. This will be the random, uh, it's a random demo.